Oh, oh. <laughs> Somebody's a little drunk right now. Now we can get a good look. Oh, my God. Oh, sweet womp. Oh. He'll let me pet him. Well, this cured my depression. Don't mind if I do. Good morning, everybody. This is Boo Boo, as you know from the vidges. Boo Boo's having black tar poo poo diarrhea right now. Gave him some Pepto Bismuth and it didn't help, but that's actually a thing that you can do for deer. It's probably Cocidia. Cocidia, also referred to as Toxidia incorrectly, is an adorable little precious little protozoan single cell baby boy here. Fortnite. So we are taking Boo Boo to All Things Wild because they have a way better arsenal of medicine than I do for this. And they're at least a level 30 when it comes to rehabbing deer, and I'm only a level five. I don't have nearly enough XP banked up for this. But all right, everybody, this is my son, Boo Boo, and Boo Boo's going to All Things Wild, and I actually have some clips that I forgot to post of how effective they are at rehabbing deer. So here's some clips from the latest deer release that they did. This was one of three that they did this year. Hey, it's me editing, Ben. This is what I actually look like. I'm about to show you guys a bunch of videos I was too lazy to edit back in December. Uh, please enjoy. Okay, I got this little guy loaded up, and as you can see with this thing, he won't hurt his wing by hitting the wall. All right, everybody, same thing, different day. This is the fawn pen that All Things Wild has, and it's specifically designed to rehabilitate white-tailed deer. And just like the foxes we had, these are all orphaned and injured white-tailed deer that have grown up without human interaction and are ready to go back to the wild. But because these are wild deer that are ready to be released, Dr. Cruz has to sneak up on them with a special ketamine shot. As you can see, as the kids might say, these guys are a little bit litty off that fire zaza. I guess you guys could say it's day zero no ket for these little fellas. But after they were asleep, we cleaned their hooves, gave them shots, dewormed them, and did everything else that they needed to be healthy and ready to go back to the wild. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, Skye was preparing all the food for the animal. Oh, look at her adorable little bee. This is my favorite creature by far. And just when you thought it couldn't get any cooler, we got a ketamine gun. And this bad boy is designed to give these guys the perfect dose without harming the animal. After that, we took the little hawk that I brought in with a broken wing to see how bad the break is with the x-ray machine. Look at this little man closing his eyes. Okay, guys, they left me alone in here. So <laughs> now this little guy's asleep. I'm gonna stretch out this wing. Now we can get a good look. After I got them all taped down, we took a little picture, and as you can see, the break is pretty bad. And you can see the food that I fed him that morning. After that, Dr. Cruz and I uh, carried this little guy out, and then she let me carry him by myself because I'm a big, strong man. You see that? And there's Lauren in the background. But after that, we put him in what I call the meat truck with the other ketamine deer protein and without being sedated these guys could not have been medicated or transported to the release site and just like that the first batch is on its way and while lena was taking care of our hawk i went ahead and followed the truck so we could show you guys what a deer release looks like all right everybody we're here this is where we're going to be releasing the first batch of these deer and it's deer season so i'm going to ask the landowners if i could have permission to hunt here and because these guys are still on ketamine i got to give them a reverser right which canceled butt. out the drug in their system Go, buddy. So that's the reverser? Yes, that's one of them. There's two. The drugs are gonna kind of wear off real quick. Somebody's a little drunk right now. Oh, there he goes. Okay. I don't know if I love that tongue sticking out. Put that tongue back in your mouth, boy. This one still hasn't had his reverser yet, so we're gonna go ahead and give him that injection. Good morning, precious little fella. Little button buck, yeah. It's Sebastian. This is Sebastian? Oh, yes. <gasps> Sebastian. The lore of Sebastian is actually pretty epic. You ready to get up, Come Sebastian? On, Are you ready to go to the wild, Sebastian? Thanks to the rescuers and the folks at All Things Wild, these deer have a second chance Goodbye, at living an amazing fella. life. Okay, and the last thing we're gonna do is pour the deer feed all over the ground. Also, someone dropped their keys here. And though Boo Boo is not a native whitetail, he's still a precious creature. And this is what he looked like when he first got turned into All Things Wild. Pretty epic, huh, guys? Oh! Grackles on to Bucky sign for today. Look at this little goober. Boo Boo's back, back again. Oh my goodness. They're perfect. Dafferton's here was one of Big Ounce's many long distance girlfriends. Daffy is a is a grieving widow. Last time I was here, she couldn't even do that. I also brought Nibblerton by so these guys could see how cute he is. It's been a few weeks since we brought this beaver in with the arrow in its neck. And even though he's peeing all over me, it's amazing how friendly <laughs> oh, he's little gotten little after working with people for so long. <laughs> That's okay, get it all out. Very nice. <laughs> 
But this is the beaver. He's doing a lot better now. As you can see, he's he still peeing on me. Peed on by a beaver foe today. But every day for the last three oh weeks, they've been God. changing out the gauze for new ones. And pumping this bad boy with antibiotics and betadine. Look at his little face. Look at this beaver. And while he's not yeah. friendly, it's clear he understands that we are helping him and he doesn't try and bite us. Which is surprising coming from an animal that bites chunks out of its sibling. Yes. Are those the testicles? <laughs> and this has been every day for these guys and Kate has done an amazing job so far taking care of him. Okay, you guys, I went ahead and dropped off Boo Boo. As you can see, they are a lot more capable and based than I am. And also their relationship with their vet is a lot better. Oh, look at that Kara Kara. There's another one. Oh, another Kara Kara, guys. Sick. And I still smell like beaver poop. There's beaver urine on my body right now. But later that day, Kate sent me some videos of Boo Boo running around the fawn pen, which now has tons of grass growing in it already. And the stool sample did show Cocidia, so we went ahead and treated him and switched him to goat's milk. Here's some extra clips of him over the last week. Good evening, Boo Boo. Oh my goodness, look at this creature. Boo Boo is so perfect. Oh my goodness. Boo Boo's taking his last bottle of the night, and I'm gonna go ahead and latrine him in a second. I gave him some Pepto-Bismol for that diarrhea. Hopefully the diarrhea dies down a little bit. But look, he's got his dirt. I gave Boo Boo some grass and a lot of dirt. Boo Boo needs to eat dirt in order to have the minerals that he needs to survive. We also had our volunteers from the Baylor Animal Rescue Club come out and do an educational training. Uh, this way they can be comfortable. Syringe feeding squirrels, because that's going to be a large portion of what they do this spring. Look at these little goobers. Like, look at this little Ebertin. Why are these two just rolling around? Oh my goodness, there's so many under here i put a little chair in here so that i could sit down while i give boo boo his bobo well this cured my depression here you go boo boo did you pray today for boo boo everyone he's still having a little bit of diarrhea but it's starting to go away oh sweet wampum this boo boo creature sure is you know what no, never mind you guys its name isn't boo boo it's probably gonna die don't get your hopes up but all right everybody at least everything is clean and now i can focus on working on the business a bit more than working in it even though working in it is so cute all the time oh my goodness look at this kibby oh my goodness this is my dog boo boo you guys i love my dog boo boo i still haven't decided which of these guys i'm going to keep it's a hard decision between these two the rest of them are kind of cringe and they either hide from me or like this little fella but eventually i will abduct one of these creatures and take them into my home where i will train them how to trade Bitcoin. Don't look at me like that, boy. Let me see those beans. Oh, look at those precious little toe beans. Don't mind if I do. And they don't even care that I'm shoving a camera in their face and yelling. Don't mind if I do. All right, good morning, everybody. Nibblerton just spent another day in here. Another day in paradise for Nibblerton. Beautiful little creature. Look at his little face. Sorry for waking you up, Nibblerton. He was sleeping. I'm gonna go ahead and bring Nibblerton back inside. Look at this little Nibblerton. But good morning, everybody. The last cold day of winter is behind us. And from now on, the grass is only gonna get greener, literally here, because all this grass gets greener when it's warmer. As you can see, it is no longer brown. Nothing like giving my son Arthur a carrot. I love you, Arthur. Oh my goodness. And then out of nowhere, this guy comes up and starts nibbling on my toes. Hey, I'm gonna be nibbling on your dad's toes. If you don't like this video, I don't like that one bit. But it is pretty cute and it does tickle. Look, if I move my foot, he'll just hang off. There you go, buddy. Stop biting me. And even with all this food, he still just wants to bite me. Meanwhile, his wife is way over here, keeping a respectful distance, rummaging through the weeds. And we really are doing everything we can for Arthur's weight gain, you guys. I got the rice brand oil, the gut powder, and the mass gainer for horses. Quit biting my leg. You bet. And this is what our turd used to look like only two months ago but the other thing we got to realize too guys the arthur is a 25 plus year old horse at least that's what the vet said and although we do love arthur there's a chance that she might not ever put the full weight back on there's a chance she might never again look like john without steroids the grass back here is now completely healed and back to normal again all right time to let the babies out so they can run around quit biting my leg boy okay there they go 
they always run straight up to here for some reason whenever I let them out. Hello, the baby. Have you made friends with this beautiful creature? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, look at her go. That's her zoomies. Oh, she just jumped over the... No, don't fight me, boy. All right, everybody. I just put this stick that I found at the park in Gustavo's enclosure. Look how cute this stick is, you guys. It's got all kinds of moss on it. And the man himself is hiding right here. Look how cute he is. Hello, precious little girl. Creature. Can we please look at the little leaf in her hand? She's just eating a leaf right now. Why is she holding a leaf? Look at how the baby just touches garbanzo beans like he's his little friend. See, he just pets him. But Big Bounce has been popping his head out a lot more lately, and it's nice that he gets to experience the wonders of our farm from the comfort of his mother's extended utero. Oh my goodness, look at these. Oh, oh. Oh, oh! Please, the baby, don't do it. Oh my gosh! Oh my, oh my gosh! But things sure have come a long way here at the good old urban rescue ranch. And per your request, here's some footage of Kevin being chased around by his son, name of Soldier Boy. In the next video, we're going to be giving them some glizzies again. But look at this, you guys. He's so different from Kevin because I can just hold him like this. Look, he's not trying to bite me, even though he's being weird and goofy. But yeah, you guys, he's not trying to bite me. He's just coming up to me with his mouth open like this. As you can see here, this is Kevin's son, Soldier Boy. He actually just scared Kevin away from me. He'll let me pet him. He's like a more tame version of Kevin. So cool. And if I put my hand in his mouth, obviously he's going to bite it. But he still has this weird cringe behavior that I think he just picked up from watching his dad. All right, everybody. Someone just turned in this little baby cottontail that is half blind. He got attacked by a dog. Look at this boy. He's already kind of calm. As you guys can see, Garbage Bees doesn't care one bit about sitting on my lap he loves it and it's crazy to think that this is the same duck that we rescued from my hit video how to steal ducks from the park check it out he now has full plumage male ducks known as drakes will look like the females until they're fully plumed out and while he was abandoned and she was injured they both live happily here and hopefully they might even have some kids someday speaking of which take a look at this while the plan was never to breed kangaroos the reason why i never neutered the baby is because i love him and i wanted the chance to show you guys what i'm showing you right right this very instant. Something I perceive to be quite literally a miracle. And it's something all you Aussies down there take for granted every day. I think garbanzo beans came out of nowhere and scared him back in the pouch. Not to mention that marsupial pregnancies are the least cumbersome for any mammal I can imagine because they're born the size of jelly beans. But that's it for now, you guys. I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching my video. This is my low tapered fade. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you.